Ah, jeez. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mortiest Morty moments from Rick and Morty. If you'll allow me to interject, over at Mojo Talks, we have a little show called Watch Club where we talk about the biggest shows on TV, like Legion and Westworld. Check out the playlist at the link below. For this list, we're looking at the best, funniest, or most memorable moments courtesy of the youngest Smith family member. As we'll be going over some crucial plot points, a minor spoiler alert is now in effect. You're smart, you'll figure it out. Number 10, Date with Jessica. For the entirety of the series thus far, Morty has had a big, obvious crush on his classmate, Jessica. <coughs> After he and Rick purge themselves of their toxic personalities, Morty finally has the confidence to ask out the pretty redhead. However, he's so jazzed up on his newfound positive outlook that he totally turns her off. You know how long I've been waiting for this? It's like, oh, I, I, I wish you'd shut up though. Just kidding. You know, you're so quiet. What's wrong? While she was at first attracted to the new Morty, her attitude changes when she can't get a word in edgewise. Poor Morty's can-do attitude even prevents him from caring when she walks out of the restaurant barely a few minutes into their disaster of a date. The sparks aren't flying. This is what dating is for, you know? Number nine, solving saw puzzles. After finally cashing in his 1 in 10 adventures card so that he can take part in a quest with the superhero group known as the Vindicators, Morty is living many a teenage boy's dream. Rick gets jealous and makes no attempts to hide his resentment. While blackout drunk, Rick sets up an elaborate series of puzzle traps, a la Saw, in order to demean the heroes, or just kill them. While the Vindicators fight among themselves, Morty, who knows Rick best of all, works to solve the twisted puzzles proving that he isn't as dumb as people say. Too bad it wasn't really about him. But you're different, noob noob. Mother f***er. You're f***ing cool. Number eight, King of the Battery. After going thrice deep in microverses within the battery of Rick's car, Morty, Rick, and Zeep Zanflorp become trapped in a teeny-verse. The constant fighting between Rick and Zeep becomes too much for Morty, so he leaves. An indeterminate amount of time later, Rick and Zeep are approached by a primitive group of teeny-verse dwellers led by Morty. We have no leaders. We follow only the will of the forest. Ooh, wow, gay. That is pretty gay. In his time away, Morty has become their leader. While at first it seems as though he's become one with nature, when given an opportunity, he begs Rick to get them out of the teeniverse, as he hates it. I, mi I miss my family. I miss my laptop. I masturbated to an extra curvy piece of driftwood the other day. Number seven, the one true Morty. After Rick is framed for the murder of a number of other Ricks and then captured by the evil Rick responsible, Morty is taken away, presumably so that he might eventually suffer the same fate as the other Mortys. It's not pretty. Too annoyed to be scared, Morty rallies the frightened Mortys to fight back. When he does, they decide that he is the one true Morty of prophecy, the messiah figure for their sad little cult. We're Mortys! We're not defined by our relationships to Rick! Together they bust out and save Rick, bringing down the Morty barrier so that the Council of Ricks can find them. It's one of Morty's more heroic moments, even if Rick acts like it's no big deal. That, that was a great opportunity to show a little humanity, you know? To connect with me a little. Hey, Morty, you want connection? Go be part of some stupid club like all those dumb Ricks. Number six, becoming a father. All Morty wanted was a sex robot, but he ended up getting way more than he bargained for. So we're just going to pretend this isn't happening? I'm not saying that's a bad idea, just asking. While Morty enjoys his time with the robot at first, things change when he accidentally gets it pregnant and an alien kid is born. However, showing some real maturity, Morty takes responsibility and decides that since the little male Gazorpian is his child, he will raise him as best he can. Would you like to learn how to dance? I'd like to dance on the graves of my enemies. Morty Jr. grows up very quickly, reaching maturity in just one day. Can't take this anymore! I'd rather breathe poison than live another minute with you! But like all new parents, Morty finds that raising a kid is hard, especially when that kid is an alien with a naturally murderous drive. Number five, shooting fart. Morty is definitely the most morally sound and ethically minded of the whole Smith-Sanchez family. After seeing his grandfather sell a gun to an assassin, Morty's determined to undo the potential damage and save the target, a gaseous being who is self-dubbed Fart. Things go off the rails real fast from there. 
By the end, the death toll is significant, and Fart dispassionately informs Morty his main objective is to kill all carbon-based life. To us, you are what you would call a disease. Devastated at the knowledge that his sparing of Fart caused so much death, Morty ultimately shoots Fart so that no one else will be hurt. Goodbye! Number 4. Pep Talk to Summer when Summer finds out she was an unwanted pregnancy and the supposed cause of her parents' misery, she is understandably hurt. Trying to give her some perspective on why she is not responsible for the happiness of others, Morty reveals a big secret to her, that he is not her real brother, and that he buried his other self in the backyard. I'm a version of your brother you can trust when he says don't run. Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Come watch TV. In effect, if he can get over his own death, she can get over her birth. The reveal brings these sort of siblings closer together and reminds Summer to enjoy the little things in life. Because the universe is crazy and unknowable, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Might as well watch TV. Yeah, I can go for some ball Yeah, ball fondlers! Number 3. Shooting Rick After breaking out of prison and into the citadel of Rick's, Rick has a little payback in mind. Once he kills almost all of the Council of Ricks, Rick gives Morty a gun when caught in a standoff with the head of the Council, who is using Summer as a human shield. Drop the gun, Rick! Morty, I know you're too stupid to get this, but you're really f***ing this up right now. As things get heated, Morty turns the gun on Rick, not willing to let Summer die. At which point he's antagonized for being an idiot until Morty snaps and shoots him. Who's stupid now, bitch? This is what Rick had been hoping for, having attached a note, but Morty didn't know that. Seriously, don't mess with his sister. G good thing I saw that note! Number 2. Teaching Ethan a Lesson After Summer's boyfriend Ethan breaks up with her, Summer develops major body issues. She attempts to make her boobs bigger, but things go terribly wrong, culminating in her getting turned giant and inside out. Morty finally catches up to Summer when she finds Ethan with another girl at a campfire. You made my sister cry, Ethan. You mess with her body image. While roasting a marshmallow, Morty casually and ominously lets Ethan know that messing with his sister's self-esteem wasn't cool, implying serious consequences. In the end credits, we see the ironic punishment Morty doled out on Ethan for hurting Summer. Wow, Morty, that is brutal. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You don't want me and Rick to be happy? No! Well then get your shit together! Get it all together and put it in a backpack! All your shit! So it's together! That was pure luck! I was not in control of that situation at all! <laughs> hey, just so you know, I I'm actually 14, so, you know... What? Not 12. Okay. You know, because he just said I was 12. Oh, good for you. Oof. Oh, Morty. Strike one. Uh. Number one, purging. With all the crazy, nihilistic adventures Rick has dragged him on, Morty's seen more death and destruction than most, and has had his concept of right and wrong stretched to the breaking point countless times. When he and Rick end up stranded on a purge planet after trying to help a local, Morty just wants to go home. But after listening to a terrible screenplay and accidentally losing his cool, he is ready to snap. You like that? You want me to cut to three weeks earlier, when you were alive?! Attacked by purgers while in a suit of power armor, all his pent-up rage explodes, and he purges in a cathartic frenzy. A kid can only be pushed so far. Jeez, wow, Morty, now you're getting into it. Well done, team. Another perfect rank. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Watch Club on Mojo Talks, where we talk about the biggest shows on TV, like Legion and Westworld. Check out the playlist at the link below. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.